Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Veronica. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a rope hanging plant. It's super simple, all you're really gonna need is some rope, scissors, and a potted plant. So let's just jump right into it. So to start off, I'm just going to measure out and cut my rope. So I measured out my rope to be exactly 11 and a half feet. My pot is about a medium sized pot and my planter ended up being about two and a half feet long from the ceiling down to the bottom of the pot. So 11 and a half was uh, plenty for me. I had a little extra actually, but if you have a bigger pot, you're going to want a little bit longer than 11 and a half feet. And if you have a smaller pot, you're gonna want a little bit less than 11 and a half feet. So once you measure that out, now you're just gonna measure out three more strands. So you want a total of four strands of rope. Then we're just going to match up the ends and fold this in half. Now at that middle point, um, we're going to tie a knot. So you wanna make sure all your rope is straight and together really well there. And then you're just gonna to wanna to tie a nice strong knot. This is gonna give you a loop for hanging your planter. And you can pull each strand individually just to make sure that knot is nice and tight. Then you're going to measure about two feet down, and this is where your planter is going to start. Now, if you want your planter to start maybe three feet down, then just measure that down from the knot. Now we're going to separate, we have eight strands. We're gonna separate them into groups of two, and we'll have four groups. So each strand is going to be next to the strand that is next to it. And then we have groups of two. Like I said, this is two feet down. You can always go three feet, four feet, however long you want your planter to be. So now we're just gonna start by tying knots in each group. Now you're gonna want your knots to all line up. You're gonna want them all to be exactly the same length down from the top so they all line up in the same row. And then once you do that, I'm just gonna move this so it's easier to see. So now we're gonna tie another set of knots and these are gonna be about an inch to two below the other knots. And we're just going to take a strand from one group and a strand from the group next to it and we're gonna tie a knot. This kind of creates a V or W between the knots on top. And then this is also just going to connect our whole thing together. So we're going to keep doing that where we take a strand from the group next to it and we make a new group of two and then tie a knot. Now if you have a bigger planter, you're going to want the spacing between the top knot and bottom knot to be a little bit longer. And if you have a shorter planter, then you're gonna want that to be shorter. So a medium planter, I'd say two inches. Um, a short planter, I'd say maybe an inch and a half, an inch. And if you're doing a bigger planter, I mean anywhere from three to four to five, depending how big this planter is. Now, when you tie the last knot, you're gonna wanna take the two outside strands and tie those together to make a knot. Now you're just gonna wanna check and you're gonna wanna make sure all your knots are even. Now when you tie the knots, make sure you tie them loosely just because while you're doing this, you're gonna have to resituate a couple times and you want them to be loose just so that you can quickly untie them and retie them where they need to be. This is really gonna help later on too when we're hanging the planter because then if you need to resituate anything, you can just untie them and retie them a little bit tighter or where they need to be. 
So now we're just going to need to tie one more knot and that's just going to be a big knot on the bottom. Now for the last part, if you have somebody to help you, then this would be great. They can just hold it up for you and you can put your pot in and resituate and then tie a final knot. If you're like me and you didn't have anybody else to help you hold it, then what I did was I just hung the rope where I wanted the planter to hang and situated the pot in there and tied it. So you can see I'm just putting my pot inside to kind of get an idea of where everything's going to go. If your pot doesn't fit, then you just need less or more spacing between the top and bottom knots. Mine fit perfectly. This worked out really well, so I didn't have to do any resituating. So you're just going to want to get your pot to fit in there good, and then once it does, you're just going to want to mark where you need to tie your big knot on the bottom. Then you can take your planter out, and you can just tie that big knot all together. Also, before I tightened this all up, I reset my pot in there just to make sure it all looked good. And then I tightened that final knot on the bottom. And then you are finished with your hanging planter. Now you can just leave yours like this, but my rope was actually made up of three strands. So I just decided to unravel that at the end. That way I had more of a tassel look on the bottom of my planter. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below. And also don't forget to subscribe while you're down there as well. That way you won't miss any future videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!